Greetings to you all in the name of our crucified Savior, Jesus Christ. The Church of South India, Department of Pastoral Concerns, is pleased to bring to you a series of Lenten meditations on the theme, Cross, a symbol of renewal and hope. Starting from today, we will be premiering meditations on different shades of cross every morning. We hope and pray that these meditations will allow us to rediscover the meanings of cross for our life. The cross is not just a symbol of love and sacrifice, but it is also a call to self-denial. It challenges us to deny ourselves, to take up our own crosses and to follow Jesus. This self-denial is not about rejecting ourselves, but about letting go of our selfish desires and our reliance on life-negating realities of this world. It is about making room for God as well as affirming the importance of other people in our lives. Lent is a time of reflection, repentance and renewal. We are called to meditate on the Word of God and its implications in our lives. While we reflect on cross this year, we focus on cross as a symbol of renewal and hope to understand the transformative power of the cross. The selected themes and scripture references for these Lenten days provide unique lenses to understand the significance of the cross and its relevance in our contemporary context filled with multiple challenges. As we go through the devotions, we may dwell deeper into these themes fostering a personal and communal experience of liberation. So that together, as a community of faithful, we will experience the fullness of life. Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of Lent. Lent is a season of penance, reflection and fasting in preparation for Christ's resurrection on Easter Sunday. The theme cross a call to self-denial is a profound reminder of the essence of this day. In the context of Ash Wednesday, the ashes are not only a symbol of our mortality, but also a sign of our humility. They remind us that we are not the center of the universe, that we are dust and to dust we shall return. But they also remind us of our capacity for renewal, for rising from the ashes just as Christ rose from the dead. In the Old Testament reading for today, the book of Prophet Joel, chapter 2, verses from 12 to 20, the Prophet Joel is exhorting the people to repent. Jewish community had an interesting cultural practice in those days, and that was to show their grief by ripping their clothes. When they hear of the death of a loved one, or about a defeat in war or any other bad news, they would wail and tear their clothes. God is saying that it is not enough to tear the clothes. God wants a broken heart more than torn clothes. With many people, it is all an outward show, a lot of weeping and wailing, an outward demonstration, but there is no real change in their heart. Prophet calls people for a genuine repentance. It must be a change of heart. It must be a complete and holistic repentance. It must not be a superficial repentance, like rending the outer garment. It must not be an outward repentance. It must happen in the depth of our hearts. Return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Joel chapter 2 verse 12. Paul witnesses to this transformation in Christ while he was speaking to the Galatian church. He says, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. The cross, a symbol of suffering and sacrifice, is also a lighthouse of liberation and life in abundance. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus Christ has set us free from the bondage of sin and death. 
offering us the fullness of life. This liberation is not just spiritual, but also encompasses socio-economic and political dimensions resonating with the realities of each of our lives. It is very important in a time such as this. Therefore, as we embark on this Lenten journey, let us embrace the cross and its call to self-denial. Let us strive to live not for ourselves, but for Christ who loves us and gave himself for us. And may this season of Lent be a time of deep spiritual renewal for all of us. Shall we pray? Jesus, enable us to understand cross as a symbol of our renewal and hope. Engage us with your scripture and enlighten us to renew ourselves. Amen.